Hi everyone, this is Francisco, and I was just thinking about those expandable hoses, and I thought that they can be added for the shower. So when you turn on the water, well, I don't know if it will expand though, because You know, the water's coming out, the pressure is coming out. But it might work because there's still some pressure. And if anything, they could have two different, you know, like channels, veins, like hoses put together and wrapped up so it can just appear as one and one will hold a lot of the you know the pressure so it can expand and maybe it can even go further you know like right now this one here I think is six feet and it goes all the way out here look at that it even hits it hits this. So, because <clears throat> it's so true, like, I have like a heavy duty commercial hose and it's cool and everything, especially for pressure washing, heavy duty jobs, but for the garden, for someone's home, that thing's a, that thing is a, a hassle because it's coiled up. So if I want to, you know, get some slack, I basically have to uncurl a lot of it, unwind a lot of it. And then walk the hose wherever I want it. And then it gets kinked up and a bunch of other stuff. So, you know, those water hoses are super cool. I'm even thinking about buying some. Well, at least one. Just for the heck of it. Because they're super cool. Like, I've used them before. And it's the same thing with the front house water hose. But... Yeah, like, I think that the, I think that the, like, the same type of technology, the same type of hose that expands can be used in the showers. Because, <clears throat> you well, you guys already know, if it's not in use, it's just one big loop of plastic. That's in the way. Um, the other factors would have to be. That would have to be considered. Would be. That it will expand. And it might knock things over. So it could, it could potentially injure people. So it would have to be designed. You know. Um, with that in. Well. It would have to be designed. Well. It, Anyways, that would just have to be added, like, in the brochure or something, you know, like, because some people put those baskets over the, where that, the water comes out, and, you know, people put their shampoos and stuff there, so if the water hose is expanding, then it could potentially knock stuff over, and if it does, it could injure people. So sometimes I go in there and I turn on the hot water and then I'm waiting for it to get cold. So I'm like, I'm like all the way against the shower where the nozzles, the control nozzles are. And I'm just waiting for it to get warm. And the hose is always like in the way. But other than that, 
I just thought about this idea and I think it would be a cool idea, you know, for for newer homes or well that one that spray shower sprayer I purchased at Walmart or my friend purchased it at Walmart for ten bucks. I've been having it over a year. Super cool. You know. So if you guys need one like that, just go to Walmart, like it's a little sprayer. It's only ten bucks. But if you guys want one of the ones that you know, like the water hose technology, well, someone would have to I think credit should be given to the people who sell the water hoses. You know, whoever patented that, I think they should get credit. And and then these things can be sold to, you know, to um, residential homes, to people. Because, I mean, when we turn it off, that, that hose is just in the way, in my opinion. So another thing would be, what if it's expanding and then it knocks the, the sprayer out of its, you know the little the little hook that it's in so it would have to be tested and if that does happen then someone would have to create something to prevent that from happening but i think for the most part i don't think that it will get knocked over so anyway god bless thank you all for listening watching like and subscribe oh and if you guys like this idea, go to Facebook. I created a page. It's called Invent or Don't Invent. 